artists. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a monarch butterfly using white paper, some paint, and a little cup of water. To get started, you're going to want to fold your paper in half. So we're going to line up our edges as neat as we can, hold with one hand, slide towards the edge and press. You may notice that I have something on the back of my paper. That's because I am reusing an older piece of paper. I love to do that so that way I am reducing the amount of paper that I use, making it better for our environment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush I'm going to dip it in water and I am going to wet the black paint. Because a butterfly is symmetrical or the same on both sides, I only need to paint half of a butterfly. What's really cool about this project is you get to go quickly as you paint and fold and press. So we go from a blank paper to the outline of a butterfly fairly quickly. I'm just finishing getting that paint nice and wet and then it looks like I'm just about ready. We're gonna start with the body of the butterfly and watch how quickly we need to move. I'm gonna move this to the side a little I'm going to paint half the head and the half of body. And I have to move super, super quick. That looks about right. I'll put that in the water. Take my paper, fold it back, and press. When I open it back up, you'll see we have the whole body. Now, if you wanted to, you could take your black paint and kind of repaint that in. But I actually really like how part of it is faded and the other part is whole. It just gives it a little bit more of an interesting character. Next, I'm going to go back in to my paint and I'm going to start the top wing. I'm going to go from here, making a line, making sure the paint is nice and wet. If it's not wet enough, it's actually not going to transfer. And then quickly fold and press and open. Nice. Go back, wet it. I'm going to do a line about halfway. And then again, quickly fold and press, open back up. I'm going to now make the shape of the wing and I'm going to put a wavy line to give it some interesting character. So I'm gonna go maybe a little like that. Fold and press. Awesome. look how great it's coming out. I'm going to now start this bottom, making a line down here, hold and press, Fold and press. Let's do the antenna. You can make that however you want. You could swirl it. You can make it straight. You can make it curve in or curve out. That choice is yours. press. 
and you could do this with any type of paint. I'm using watercolor paint. If you're using the watercolor palette that I gave you, great. If you have your own paints, maybe that come in a bottle or a little squeeze tube, those will work just as well. And because I'm making a monarch butterfly, I'm going to quickly make a parallel line. See how it goes along with the shape. Open. And I'm going to fill in some of it, leaving some white spaces. And this we have to do super quick so that the paint doesn't dry. And some of it will close up and that's okay. Okay. Awesome. I'm gonna do the same down here, that vertical line. See if I could do this in one shot. If not, I could always put some more paint the second time around. Notice I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just going with the flow. It looks so cool when it has that very natural, rustic look to it. Awesome. I'm gonna try. I didn't get that line over here, so I can go back over it just a little and press back down. I might have not pressed there. Let's see how oh, much better. Now I'm going to make those veins in the wings. By just making some lines. I'll do the top part first. Awesome. And the bottom. Love it. Now, if you're still unhappy with the fadedness of these lines, again, you could take your brush, dip it in the paint, and trace over those lines. I'm going to leave them because I actually really like it, but what I am going to do next is I'm going to paint these inside shapes. Now, if you would rather color them with let's say a marker or crayons, you are definitely welcome to. That choice is up to you. Just know that if you use paint, you really want to be careful not to keep going over the black lines. So really staying inside each shape. If you do go over the black lines, you're going to re-wet that black paint and it's going to mix in, which might make you a little bit upset because those spots may no longer be orange, they might look more brown. And remember, just because I'm painting it orange like the monarch butterfly doesn't mean you have to. You're your own artist, so you can make your own artistic choices when it comes to the types of lines that we make or the colors that we use or any additional details you would like. When you're done with your picture, if you want to cut it out, you most certainly can. You can paint a background or you can leave it as is. I hope you enjoy making your butterflies. If you finish early, don't forget you can try one of the other videos that teaches you how to make one out of paper using scissors and glue or you can draw one using your favorite coloring materials. Whatever it is you would like to do, that's up to you. All right, I'm gonna fast forward just so you can see the rest of this video and enjoy. See you soon.